Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today, somebody sent me a question on one of my videos: how you would split an object in in half. And I don't know entirely what type of objects object they're talking about cutting in half, but and I've done several videos on something like this. So you've got this circle or an ellipse, and you want to just cut it in half. And I hit P on the keyboard and hit. A perpendicular line and hit P on the keyboard and just go to your virtual segment delete key and delete that that uh, other uh, the other half of the circle same thing with a star just hit P on the keyboard P on the keyboard take your virtual segment delete key and delete that half of the star now with that said I don't really I'm hoping it's not that simple for him I well, hope he's got another suggestion or another thing he wants to. So let's try a text. Well, it's not a text anymore because I converted it to a curve. But we're going to split this text in half. And I've hit P on the keyboard and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. And because it's a curve, the virtual segment elite key will delete it. And on, on this case, you just have to hold down your left mouse button. And anything that is touching, it will delete. Now, I don't really see why you would do that with the exception of this reason. Maybe. Control D and make a duplicate of that. Let's get the virtual segment delete key and delete that bottom. Let's take this text that's still together. Tell you what, let's use the nudge factor of 5 inches. And let's nudge it up twice. Now let's take and hit P on the keyboard. And then this time, so at the first we did the top half. Let's do the bottom half. No, I want just the opposite. I want to do the top half. Now take your line away. And cursor down two clicks with your down arrow key. And the only reason I would see you were going to do that if you were going to do something to it, and let's change our nudge factor to 0.5 inches. Let's nudge one of them up. And now you've, you've got a dash between there, and you could, there's a lot of things you could do. I don't know if this would uh, be anything anybody ever do. Take your two-point line, get on that node, and go to that node. Get on that node and go to that node. You can't really make a mistake when you've got snap to node aligned. So now, basically, we have a bar. And I, I, could say, I say you couldn't do anything wrong, but I actually did. But you could always take your shape tool and move that up to that node. So now you have two different texts. Maybe take the smart fill tool. I didn't hit the smart fill tool. Get your Smart Fill tool. Oh, I did, but I had it on white. Let's turn it red. And I don't know when you would ever do this. And then let's make it blue on the bottom. And then you could actually take away your lines. I don't know when you would ever do this, but... Kind of a cool effect. And then you could actually select that and cursor back down and you could have done the same thing with just putting a line you didn't have to break it apart but there's a lot of different things you could do with that so I hope that answered his question and maybe he'll send me I'm ask, I actually asked him to send me a file of what exactly he's talking about and it might be a little bit more complicated than just a basic shape anyway I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching